good jobs number, markets crater. Go figure. What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard to Bubba Zilli Update for Friday, the 2nd of December. And, well, the jobs number came out as better than expected. Uh, they were expecting 200,000. They got 263. Of course, what they don't tell you is that those are part-time jobs, not full-time jobs. But, of course, the markets have cratered. And why might you ask that are the markets cratering? Because that means that probably inflation isn't slowing down and that the bullshit story the Fed is spinning along with the government is garbage. All right, because again, as I said to you before, I just went grocery shopping. Item for item, my bill was up 47%. So that's, they can take that 7.7% .7 and shove it up their ass. And, you know, they're, they're bragging about last week's Black Friday sales. Well, if you just do some simple math, sales increased 2.3% year over year. But of course, inflation if it's 7% is still a negative 5% for the day. So they can talk that garbage story. Again, remember, the headlines don't mean jack. What means something is the real numbers, and the real numbers are adjusted for inflation. In the meantime, the markets are down pretty big here, Dow 300, NASDAQ 200. But that was pretty predictable, um, just based on the short covering rally on Wednesday, the lack of activity yesterday, and, of course, the beat, which means that the Fed will probably have to become aggressive again, uh, hiking rates, so this is what this is what you look at, and again, this, these are the things that you watch. In the meantime, crude continues to try to push higher, and we're still short, uh, but I don't know for how much longer. Uh, but it, we are seeing it come down a little bit now, but it, it is higher on the day after being lower. Uh, bonds and notes are getting crushed. We're long, uh, which again tells you, which is what I've said all along, that the, the interest rates are going higher, and they can take that information, and, and you know where, where the sun don't shine. Uh, gold and silver are down pretty solid, but of course they had big updates. You, you can't expect a market to go straight up, okay? There's going to be some pullbacks, and it looks pretty good, and I don't know how much far we'll pull back, but certainly it might be a potential buying opportunity. In the meantime, the, the dollar is higher, and we are short. The euro currency is lower, and we're long. Makes sense. They're opposites. Uh, copper is lower, and, and we're long, and... Uh, Natural gas is lower and we're long. Uh, as we look at the grains, which are under pressure today, uh, you know, again, it, it's interesting that they're under pressure. Actually, soybeans have come back after being lower. They're higher, we're long. Corn's down about nine cents, which is pretty big. Uh, we're long corn as well. And wheat is down 25 cents and we're short. Okay, in the, uh, in the protein complex, fats are higher, we're long. Uh, excuse me, feeders are higher, we're long fats, are higher slightly. We reversed the short this morning, and hogs are down and we're short. Uh, in the uh, in the softs, cocoa is flat and we're short. Cotton is, is, is down and we're long. Sugar is down and we're short. OJ is higher and we're short. And coffee is down and we're short. It's a real ugly picture, but again, we've gone right back into a market that lacks liquidity, lacks activity, and lacks any true opportunity, which is why, once again, I'll be heading to the poker room after playing golf yesterday. Uh, and uh, remember our sponsors, uh, the, the Vegas starts Monday night with the cocktail party. If you're in the Vegas area, even if you didn't sign up for the event, you can come to the uh, cocktail party as my guest. Uh, and then, of course, Tuesday morning, we get going with the live stream and, and, and teaching. And it's going to be probably our best ever because uh, we're going to teach a, a money management system that will only be taught here once and once only. Uh, but Trade Your Brokerage is our sponsor of that. And, of course, their information's on the side. Uh, but they're a great partner uh, and as, as a CTG for our futures and commodities. And, again, I only give you people that I vetted. Listen, I have many brokerage accounts. But I give you the ones I vet that I think are the best for, for my members and for in general. And, and since I have 90% of my money with both of them, it would tell you that I think I'm pretty strong on them. But their information's on the side. Don't forget about our high school program, but uh, again, we're having a great deal of difficulty giving it away for free to the schools now because, you know, the woke society doesn't want to teach anymore. So we'll see what happens. In the meantime, for you football fans, uh, had a nice winter yesterday, uh, and there's a big uh, Pac-12 championship tonight, Utah versus USC. We're going to take Utah plus the three, three and on the money line. Uh, that would be the only way to really screw up this whole college football playoff system 
Besides the fact, I think Utah is a better team. In the meantime, have a great day, everybody. This is Bubba's Day Update. We'll see you Sunday with Bubba's Bottom Line. And just be careful out there. It's awfully illiquid in the markets right now.